Hello there, sick notes. I'm Dr. Uncle Colonel Failure, and this is Uncle Dr. Colonel Failure's Hollywood Clinic to the Stars and uh, Rest Home for Kite Fanciers. And uh, you join me uh, alongside Mary Q8 here, uh, who is in charge of our surgical department, except, of course, she doesn't have any surgical skills, no, no skills at surgery. How does she have? She's allowed to do surgery. Do I have an option? Oh, I, I do have an option. She's allowed to... I've said you're allowed to do surgery. That's fine. I don't mind you doing it. You can do the surgery. Do the surgery. It's good. But for some reason, we are not getting any surgical patients. Um, I'm going to double check when the daytime arrives uh, that we can do the... Uh, uh, we can do the correct surgical procedures based on our surgical doctors. Uh, I'm also going to move this chair. Someone recommended I move the chair. Oh, I see what you mean now. Finally, it dawns. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. This is uh, an ongoing discussion commenters have been having uh, with regards to this piece of perspex that's on top of the uh, of the counter. And I keep saying you're putting the corners in the wrong place. Uh, it looks absolutely fine. Look, that all lines up perfectly. But no, wrong bit of perspex. All right, well, I'll get rid of it then, shall I? I'll get rid get... Yeah, see, I made it make a tinkly noise. Uh, I'm just going to have to go find it again now. This all looks all too instrumental to be uh, to be what I'm after. Maybe if we, uh, we go back and we edit the room and we want right desk. Is that right? Yes. Okay, then. Right. Okay, you lot can all shut up now. I've got it right. It's all perfect. Uh, you may give a little cheer in the comments. Just a little one. There's no need for you to get carried away. All right. Let's uh, let's conduct the intro and advance till morning, and uh, and we'll make our way from there. Here we go. Shift change is occurring. There's an awful lot of uniforms going on. I haven't changed the uniform colours yet. Uh, I'm going to reward myself with uh, with uh, with redecorating my staff as a special treat uh, when the time comes. Right. Okay. Uh, Doctor Hazmat. Oh, it's very sad. Dr. Hazmat is not suited to doing... What if we said, go on, do a bit of surgery, mate. You'll, you'll figure it out as you go. And he's an intern. What am I doing hiring an intern to be my head of surgery? Don't answer that, because he's... I'm obviously some kind of Charlie. Uh, right, let's, uh, let's hire ourselves a better doctor. I need a doctor who does the surge. Surging doctors is what I'm after. Uh, acute medicine. It doesn't. It, it, we've got diagnoses. Um, oh, hold on. No, let's let's select the right department. No, this is the right department, and that's the the flashing light of of emergency doctoring. Um, no, this this would appear to be this would appear to be the right stuff. Surely, acute medicine is the way to go. Uh, diagnosing and treating critical patients. Yes, it doesn't specifically say. I'll tell you what. I'll hire you, Brooke. Um, come on in, uh, and then if you are no good at it, we'll. Uh, well, I'll I'll sack you. Uh, I, I, there doesn't seem to be any penalisation to be had in uh, in. My, oh, you're here already. Hello. Can you do? You can do surgery. Ah, now you're talking. Look, Hazmat. Look, you can. Uh, you just read it and weep. In fact, this is going to be Bingo's sister, Brooke. Uh, I can't not have a member of the Hazmat family on staff. Uh, that just feels wrong. Uh, right, okay, splendid. Now then, let's see if that uh, rustles us up a, uh, a, a properly sick person. Um, I know, maybe my first, my first sacking. I felt good about that. Uh, right, here come the patients. Patient number one, please. Uh, please go and say, oh, no, you've, you've, why have you gone in to see Bumson? He's never up to any good, see, Bumson's up to his old tricks again. Hello, lady, that's what he sounds like. Let me have a look at this wrist of yours that hurts. Take your top off. You can, you just gotta go, Bumson, this is the era of hashtag me too, mate. I mean, you can't just, honestly, he's got no scruples. And she, she's got dermatitis for crying out loud. You didn't need a whipper top off for that. And it's on her leg. If anything, 
I would suggest it was the trouser area that might have been the appropriate thing to disrobe. Anyway, he's made a diagnosis. Uh, it's all part of the service, Jessica. Just, uh, just so, just, so, just so, you know. Uh, right, okay, what's going on in here? Oh, I thought we had action there for a moment, but no. Uh, Dr. Hazmat, second edition, is uh, dreaming of kites uh, while uh, while Brooke Clark is in doing the uh, doing the cleaning. And uh, she's 4% efficient with it. Is that what they're thinking of? They're thinking of, of cleaning. Is that what that kite symbol is? Why are my doctors constantly thinking about cleaning? You're going, hey, you, sit on the thing. See, because uh, Nancy Diligent is just that. Um, all right, you're happy. Good. I hope you've paid for everything. Uh, let's up the tempo and see if we can get anybody referred. Uh, we should get some some uh, some up-tempo patients come through. Oh, hello. Where are you going? We got one. What's wrong with him? Oh, brilliant. Come on, Hazmat. Go hack him up. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, make uh, careful incisions and uh, cure what ails him. He's got a chest contusion and some broken ribs. Smashing. Uh, okay, well, we could we could X-ray him. I mean, that's about all we can do. Uh, available treatments, ICU, hospitalization, hospitalization. We could do some of that. I've got a, a kind of ward here that he's currently in. Um, all I remember from the beta is that uh, uh, I had a patient in the ward who died. Um, oh, there we go. She's uh, doing some... Oh, he's done. That's it. He came in, out of bed, and uh, he splashed the cash and got out. Oh, there you go. Surgical department online. Uh, five by five. Making it happen. Um, coming around for a 7-0-9-er. Uh, brilliant. Uh, right, okay, well, the, the the mean hospital is is currently it's currently working rather well. Um, we've got uh, we've got a few people waiting in the audience here uh, in order to uh, to get in and uh, and have bumps and see. I mean, he's not fussy neither. He'll take everybody's top off. What's wrong with you, mate? Uh, bacterial tonsillitis. Get your shirt off. Gee, he just it, Bumson just doesn't care. He loves a chest. Uh, he's not bothered who it's attached to, neither. Uh, right. Hello, what's wrong with you? Uh, something wrong with my leg. Is there? Are you sure about that? Uh, why don't you go sit on there and get your top off? See? It's like a script. It's like he, he knows exactly what he wants to do every single time. But uh, but as yet, we have not been sued. So uh, so in Bumson we trust, which is, uh, which is just not the way to go. Let's go and pay attention to another doctor. Uh, who have we got down here? This is uh, this is Cindy Vapid, um, and uh, Jordan here has got a cold. Oh, for crying out loud, Jordan, go to the flipping chemist. Go to the chemist. Get yourself some lem sip, uh, maybe a hot water bottle. Wrap up nice and warm, and then spend the afternoon watching Zulu. Uh, that'll make you feel better. Have a scotch or something. That'll you know that'll sort you right out. Uh, but Zulu is the important part. Um, no, it's very anyway. All right, okay, good. All right, flipping that Doctor Colonel Failure's clinic to the stars takes everybody every illness very seriously. Um, and if you uh, if you like having your t-shirt off, might I suggest Doctor Bumson? Uh, right, Charles Anson. He's got dermatitis or uh, otitis externa. How could he possibly have? How are they? How how are the, How are we uncertain? I'm itchy. Where are you itchy? Somewhere. Okay, well, we're going to have to try some places to figure out where it is that you're itchy, then, aren't we? Because, uh, is it is it here? Is it on your arm? No. He's uninsured as well. He's just, and he's a teacher, so he's just having a free day off um, and, uh, and abusing the facilities. And given, hold on, what was going on there? Oh, we've got... Uh, that's it. You teleport in between beds. Best thing to do. Who we got here? Susan Harris. She's got a leg contusion. Uh, she's got all sorts of things going on there. What are we doing with her? Because Oh, I see. We've, we've put her in an ice wrap. 
Yep, she seems happy with that. Walking, no problem at all. Paid her 400 quid, got out. It's quite an expensive hotel, as it goes. Uh, 400 quid for a couple of hours. Uh, meanwhile, Charles Anderson is back again. I thought we were done with you, mate. Uh, we want to give him an MRI, but we can't do that because we don't... We're giving him some observation. We're just, we're just having a good hard look at him. Going, what's going on with him? Don't know. Have a look. Hmm. Is he still is he still itching? Yes. Ah. Oh crikey, we've got a full house. Uh, right, who's this? This is uh, Beardy McJohnson. Uh, and he's got a hand contusion and a fracture of finger. Oh, it could be one or the other. I'd have thought. Ju I'm just saying. I'd have thought that one would be quite easy to work out. Especially if he's already been for a flipping x-ray. Uh, and then over here... This joker is Mark Adams. He's got a leg con... I tell you, this is contusions are us uh, today here at the uh, the Hollywood Clinic Bar Grill stars failure, doctor, uncle, and so on. Um, right, okay, what's, uh, what's going on in the zapping room? Don't just make him lie on this kind of steel surface here. Oh, he's... What? No, what? What? But he's nowhere near it. The machine, or maybe it was zapping out the end here. I, I don't know. Either way, I will have the results through presently. She's, she's sitting, thinking about. It's kites, though. That's not cleaning. That is definitely a kite. She's thinking about. Uh, objective complete. Treat thirty patients in a day. Have twenty large. Well, thank you very much. Uh, right, that takes my bank balance to fifty-three grand. Um, that's not bad. I'll, uh, I'll I'll take 53 grand. Are we keeping anyone in? Doesn't look like it. So why am I hiring overnight staff if we're not keeping anyone in? What button do I need to press to uh, to run on an ongoing basis? I'm not sure it is a it is a button necessarily. Maybe we need an receptionist and at least one doctor's office open. Possibly the lab as well. But I don't want to start ramping up on stuff until I'm certain that's what I want to be doing. Um, right. Uh, treat at least 70% patients during the day. Well, I think we've probably done that, you know. Uh, reach 70% prestige. Today, we're at 80%. I wonder if we get to midnight, we'll, uh, we'll find ourselves in a, uh, in a prestige overload department and we'll make some more bucks. Because that'd be quite uh, that'd be quite splendid. Because uh, there is a sizable part of me who wants to buy an MRI, uh, not least of all because it will stop the doctors recommending it all the time. Going, all right, go and bang him in an MRI then. And they go, oh, really? We can do that now? Yes, yes, you can do that now. Um, oh, oh, okay, yeah. And then once you've done that, you better come up with a diagnosis because the machine was very expensive. Uh, right, no, zapping rooms, that's what we want, MRI room, right, uh, what I want is, I want to price it up, please, Gov, uh, management, no, building mode, yes, equipment, MRI is 49,000 bucks, Lorks. Uh we could do an angiograph, that's only 25 grand, a CT scanner is 35 Gs, I mean, that's not, that's not inexpensive. I mean, they're all they're all pricey pieces of kit. But it seems to be the the MRI scanner is the doctor's favourite. Uh, that's the machine they want to sling you in as, as soon as they get the opportunity. Go on, bung him in the MRI. Uh, turn it on. Make it do that clanky clanky sound that it does. Um, and then afterwards we'll go. Oh yes, I'm I'm looking at your charts there. Uh, um, Johansson, and uh, and it's uh, it's fine. Uh, you've got a skin contusion. You've contused your skin. Uh, well, what what can you do about that, Doctor? <clears throat> well, we're going to stick you in a hospital bed for a bit, if you like. I mean, Dr. Bumpson will whip your top off, if, if that's your, what you're in the mood for. Um, hey, there's another 20 large. Right, hold on. I've got 140 grand. Someone, somewhere, can't count. Unless there's another 20. No, that's only 40 grand, though. I didn't have a hundred K and yeah. Oh, hold on. There's another 30 K. I'll tell you what you were uh, 
just yeah just keep giving me uh, keep giving me the money enable hospitalization at emergency okay all right yeah oh oh i see i appear to have completed quite a few objectives and i've now got 140 grand tell you what should we build an mri an mri scanner uh that seems to be the popular hot new thing that all the kids want to play with uh, right, okay, so turn on the scanning room. Enable hospitalization, or I think it told me I'd just done that. I was pretty sure it was, it was something I was intending to do, certainly. Uh, right, how big does this room need to be? Six by five. Oh, it's a big one. Uh, right, okay. Well, how far have I got that way? Nine. Oh, ho. All right, well, what's six by five look like when it's at home? If that's five... Yes. This is where they're all going to mock you for not counting again. You know that, don't you? So six by five looks like that. That's your minimum size MRI room. Okay. And then... Oh, I see. We've we've decided to go for that, have we? And then over here, you've got enough for a six by four. All right, fine. Uh, can I just remove you again? Yes, but not using that button. You have to use this one. There you go. Right, because this is quite a lot of room space to just use up on a on a flaming scanner. If uh, if that's uh, if that's how you want to roll it, how does one enable hospitalization? Hospitalization tick. You have enabled hospitalization. Let me, I'm just checking. Do beg your pardon. Just, just excuse me, just a moment. Uh, we've got to treat forty patients. All right. Well, we can do that as soon as I up my uh, up my capacity just a little. Um, uh, right, we could build a flipping enormous MRI room. I mean, you know, that will give us room to, uh, I don't know, maybe stick two MRI scanners in the same room. But nine is a lot. I have not built this area of the hospital particularly efficiently. Um, we could put in another corridor. Uh, I'm not happy with any of these solutions. I'm just saying stuff at the moment, and uh, and in a moment, I, in a, any time now, I will hit upon the uh, the solution that is appropriate. Uh, so you're six by five. I reckon we can get another six by five in next to you. What do you got there? What's that? That's another six by five. So if I were to make this a corridor, it only needs to be a skinny one like that, right? Then, oh, in fact, let's do it so that I definitely measure it properly. What? Just, just do that. Uh, and then over here, I've got a whatever I like by three. Now the question is, are there any rooms that can be? Yep, yeah, by two. You're by five. By two. Uh, CT room. Five. Five. Mm, four. Yes. What about this lot? Uh, reception. Three, okay. One, yeah, well, it's a corridor, you fall. Two, yeah, yeah. Four, yeah. Two, wait, waiting rooms and reception areas, it seems to be. I can uh, I can build with a plom. Uh, what about this lot? Can you at least, I know I can't do it yet, but can I have a, uh, a preview on what the room sizes are, or do I need to rethink my, uh, my entire struct? I'll tell you what I could do. All right, yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling innovative. I mean, you know, we're, we are almost done for this episode, Sunshine. Do you really want to get to... Shut up! I'm remodelling. Um, oh, dear, he's off on one. Uh, okay, so we're going to get rid of a bit of wall. Yep, like this. I'm going to plant some therapeutic trees in it uh, because uh, I've heard of the healing power of nature and, uh, and therefore I've become, a, I've become very much a believer overnight. Uh, which uh, which manner of water? I know it's not the right colour, but uh, we'll make it the right colour. And then then if you've got it right, you have got it. Wrong oh deal. What did you do there? Why have you built a box? Oh, because you clicked the wrong thing. Okay. But good news, you did choose the right wall, and now you just you're just randomly removing walls. Well, aren't you aren't you just the special? Uh, okay, there you go. That's it. Get rid of all of this lot. That's it. Now then, we want a 6x5 and another 6x5 next to it. So I'm going to stick my MRI and my CT scanners right there. 
and then we will wall up to the edge of them and we'll put some garden or something in there so that we have an interesting exterior design and not just a rectangle uh, which is what we are currently uh, currently working with i know um i don't know why this occurred to me as, as something that i might like to do but apparently it is so uh, so there's that uh, right okay intensive care no uh, i want uh, the emergency I don't. I want this chap here. Right, MRI room needs to be a minimum of six by five. So if we go six here by five, we could go six by six, couldn't we? Yeah, why not? Yeah, use the extra room. And then we'll have a CT room next to it, and we'll make that six by six as well, so that uh, the CT and uh, MRI technicians don't get into a bun fight about which one of them is more important. Uh, the answer is neither of you are important. I am. I am the king of the hospital. I am the hospital king. Uh, and therefore, you should all just bow down uh, before me. Um, now then, uh, you're going to need some kind of interior wall. Otherwise, there will most definitely be the crossing of the streams, which we're not into. Uh, and then uh, some of the windows that we like so much. Do we want the blinds on the outside? No, let's... How about we have the blinds on the inside? That's uh, it's a novelty, I know, but uh, but we should do that. Um, and then some kind of scanning room door. Let's make out like they're all X-rays. There you go, because uh, they are somewhat radiological. Uh, right, let's uh, let's bang this in here. Yeah, and we'll bang this in. Oh, I don't like the placement of it though. Me double doors that segregate. I, I tell you what, I could do there. Check this out. Look at this. I am. I'm on it. Yeah. Just do a bit of that. Uh, if you don't like where the wall is, move it. You're a you're a painter decorator as well as being a hospital administrator, so you can just go sling it wherever you like. There you go. See, bunging up there. People go. Oh, he's ever so clever. He moved the doors. Uh, sliding metal doors. That's that feels a bit too sinister. But that is what I had before. How expensive? They're cheaper. It's, it's cheaper than I... No, 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 I don't like it. What did I have previously? A restricted area. Ooh, handsome. Uh, double doors and windows. There you go. They feel, they'll feel hospital-like. Uh, we'll use those. Um, right. Okay, good. Now then, um, let's give them some carpet. And then we'll, we'll move on to the next bit. Uh, green is the colour of healthiness. Uh, you can have the little square tiles, and you can have the alternative little square tiles. There you go. And outside, oh, I'm going to plant some grass. Some grass. Not some grass. That's because you've got a foundation in there. In which case, we won't. We'll we'll stick a bench and a a portaloo or or something out there. Uh, I have. I, I did see it. I saw it. I saw what you saw. Um, make things vanish, please. No walls. Some walls. Uh, all the walls. There we go. It's here. Yeah, whack it in there. Oh, yeah. You've ruined the common room now. They're they're all going to be. Ah, oh, what's he done? And I'm going to be like progress. Progress is what has occurred here, there, doctors. Uh, all of you people, get a grip and then get back to work. Uh, right. Okay. Let's now uh, activate the MRI chamber. Now, presumably, it doesn't need anything else in here. You're just going to go, look, look at my magnificent machine. Step into the machine and say goodbye. Really? You don't have a lot of... I mean, I've built this larger than minimum spec. And uh, you don't you don't get an awful lot of room to play with. I need a radiological viewer and, uh, and a computer. Largely, because there'll be a riot unless they can... I can do their flipping Warcraft raid. Uh, right, okay. Well, that's 49 grand I'm not getting back. This had better be worth it, doctors. Uh, right, I need to plumb this in on the walls. That's next door. What about over here? No, not so keen. What about there? It says it's not hindered. I mean, in fact, if we stick it here, that will probably do. Um, and then we'll stick the desk for the computer that we have to have. We'll stick that there. I don't think this is going to fit. 
and stick that there. Can we get the yeah, AC? That's not uh, that's not firing in the hole. That one. Oh, hold on. That's because you got it in the wrong place, you burk. There you go. Bang it on there. Feels like it's in the way of the scanner, and it also feels like the scanner could go a little further towards the wall there. But uh, but apparently that's it. That is now active. I now need to hire a, a person uh, to uh, to push its buttons. Uh, but we'll do that in a sec. Here's the CT scan. Oh, flipping it. They need even more gear. But uh, they have the less impressive of the uh, of the the high powered machines. Although it is no less fussy when it comes to where it wants to sit in the room. I sit right in the middle of the room, and there's nothing you can do about it. It's well, okay. Well, I'll stick it at a jaunty angle now. That'll be something. Uh, right, we'll stick that down there, and we need a desk. Done. Computer. Done. Chair for the computer. Done. What else do you want? You want an equipment cabinet of any kind. Have a tall one. Done. That too should now be fully functional. I mean, if just ever so slightly basic, um, but uh, but but functional is important. Basic is a is a secondary consideration. Uh, right. Okay. Let's uh, let's staff these monkeys up. Uh, switch to day shift. We won't worry about staffing them up at night at the moment. Uh, we will we will staff them purely during the day. Uh, right, which one of you science folks uh, wants to be my uh, my MRI boffin? Um, right, yeah, yeah. I mean, do I? I mean, is it safe to have a big beard near an MRI scanner? I'm going to say probably. Uh, I'll tell you what. We'll take the person with the most MRI skill, which I'm assuming is radiological um, fandangling. Uh, there you go. Bill Young, uh, and then in uh, in room two here. So I want someone else with some. I will tell you what, we'll go with um, with Thomas O Jones here, and he can uh, he can get stuck in. Hold on, what's this? He's a hard worker. Anyway, he's doubly hired, but he's got two hidden perks. They both had better be good. Thomas O Jones, um, right? Okay, smashing. We're in business. We're on fire. We're figuratively. Right there we go. That's uh, that's the team ready and assembled and, and awaiting uh, awaiting emergency, and uh, and that's where we're going to pick things up next time. Oh yeah, no, we're going to watch both machines get t fired up and hopefully not catch fire uh, in the next thrilling episode of Project Hospital, featuring Colonel Failure on bass and uh, and Debbie McGee on bongos. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode. Uh, why not fling a like at it and uh, subscribe so that subsequent episodes do not pass you by like a ship in the night is wont to do. Um, and uh, and I shall, uh, I'll catch up with you very soon. Thanks for watching and cheerio. And I know I've already said this once in this video, but I'm doing it again because uh, I want to make sure this really sinks in. Hit the like button if you liked it. Actually, that's optional. I don't, I don't care if you hit the like button. I mean, do, obviously. Definitely hit the like button. For, for all every other purposes, hit the subscribe button as well. It's vital. The whole system falls apart if you don't press the subscribe button. I mean, you know, this mayhem. The, the streets will erupt into violence suddenly. And, uh, and educational standards as we know it now uh, will uh, we'll, we'll go to rack and ruin. Uh, that thing you like will stop happening. Um, and, uh, and it's uh, what's standing between you and eternal prosperity is you pressing the flipping subscribe button. I mean, you know, eternal prosperity, that's quite a lot of prosperity. You, you, you don't want to miss out on that.